Hey guys, Ecom Tom here. I just came back from a week long vacation in Peru. I'm wearing my genuine fake uh, alpaca sweater that I bought there because alpaca is pretty expensive. And even though I do make some money drop shipping, um, I'm still a cheap ass. So uh, that being said, uh, uh, last week I didn't get to put, post any videos up like I wanted to, but I am starting to post one probably about one or two a week from here on out. And they're all just going to be free value giving videos that I just want to provide to you guys based off of the experience that I've seen from coaching people the last three to four months that I've been coaching for, for another group. And just just the major beginner mistakes that I've seen so many people make um, and a lot of just topics that people don't understand. So um, a little bit of background about myself, just getting started. If you guys didn't watch my introduction video as this is the first video that I posted. Um, I've just broke, I think close, I think 140,000 in sales in the last 31 days. Um, if you don't believe me, I mean, I do have screenshots right here that I took yesterday. Um, I mean, with these screenshots, I mean, you can take it or leave it from what, with what they are, but that's 137,000, I think it adds up to be. Um, and that was yesterday. Uh, you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. Um, you can be a skeptic. Um, it, it doesn't really affect me. Um, so that being said, I do want to talk about literally the number one biggest mistake I've seen beginner drop shippers make when they start drop shipping from Amazon to eBay. Um, I'm not going to go into what programs I really use except for one of them, but I do want to just go over the one biggest mistake that I see. And that is when people try to incorporate sales tax into all of their items from amazon.com. Um, a lot of beginners don't know this, uh, more of the advanced people do know this, that you can eventually, if you have a United States based business and all sorts of other things that you need, you can in fact get tax exempt on amazon.com. But when you first start out and you're a beginner and you don't really know what you're doing and you just want to make sure or check if this business model works, you really want to make sure that you're doing everything correctly from the get go. And over the past three months, the 30 to 40, maybe 50 people that I've coached almost every single beginner that was drop shipping in the United States was making this mistake on amazon.com right from the beginning. And that's one of the biggest reasons why people don't make a lot of sales at the beginning. They get discouraged and possibly end up quitting. So I really want to share this with you guys. And, um, without further ado, I'll get started. So we're here on amazon.com. Nothing special. You, if you haven't gotten a prime account, um, you really need to get a Prime account when, you, when you're when you drop shipping from Amazon to eBay. Um, Prime, Prime accounts are essential. Don't try to get away with the free student one or the free one month one or the discounted student one. It's literally like $13 a month it ends up being or maybe even less, maybe like, I don't know, it's like $100 a year. If you can't spend that, then I think you're in the wrong business to be honest. Um, there's a lot more programs that cost a lot more money. So that being said, I want to reiterate the fact that there there is two different types of products on Amazon, or three maybe, but two main ones when you're drop shipping from Amazon to eBay. Number one is shipped and sold by Amazon, and I'll show you an example of that in a second. That means that Amazon owns this item, it's in their warehouses, they ship it out themselves, it's always gonna be prime, I haven't seen one that isn't prime, I don't think. And for those items, you are going to always, or almost always, I can't, I can't say always, because people call me out on it, be charged sales tax. So for those items, you do need to charge sales tax or incorporate sales tax into your listing on eBay. Not Don't put sales tax on your item, but you need to incorporate the amount of what the sales tax will be into your item price on eBay. You can't charge sales tax on eBay. That's illegal. Um, you can only charge it. I don't even want to get into that. Just don't charge sales tax on eBay, but you are going to want to inc incorporate it into what they call your break-even price. Um, I'm not going to go into how to calculate that in this video. I just want to go into showing you the difference between these two items. The other item there is, is shipped by XYZ, some random company, some company's name, and fulfilled by Amazon. That's what's called FBA or fulfilled by Amazon, and that's when people buy items from wherever. It, it, I don't care where they source it from, but they buy items. They ship them into Amazon to be stored into the, in their warehouses, and then those items are sent out as Prime or whatever. It doesn't always have to be prime, but it's fulfilled by Amazon. The person just sends the items into Amazon. Amazon does the shipping. For those items, a lot of the times you do not get charged sales tax. Um, there is certain states that you will almost always be charged sales tax in. Uh, California 
is one of them. Florida, Louisiana, um, I think Tennessee. Um, there are some items. The best way to check is really just to put the item in your cart and check if you're going to get charged sales tax. You can change around the location. So you will always be charged sales tax to the location that the item is going to. So I live in Massachusetts. So if I buy an item that's shipped and sold by Amazon is always charged sales tax, I will be getting charged 6.25% sales tax to send it to Massachusetts. But if I send that item to New Hampshire where there is no sales tax, I will not get charged sales tax because that's the New Hampshire sales tax. Or if I send it to New York, I'd get charged the New York sales tax. So let's go ahead and find a shipped and sold by Amazon item just to show you guys the, how this really works. So I always use the example of frying pan. I don't know. A lot of my students will realize that I always just use the uh, frying pan. So I mean, when you're going through and you're trying to find items to drop ship on eBay, um, you're going to always want to check on Amazon when you first start whether this item is shipped and sold by Amazon or Amazon fulfilled. Um, you can have a spreadsheet where you can separate the two or whatever to you know, to make it easier to list on eBay. I don't really, I'm not going to get into that on this video, but I just want to show you guys the difference between these two. So I'm going to click on this one and this one, I mean, it's the best seller. So it's usually, um, Amazon's going to go in there and, you know, take it over basically because they know it's a good item. So sometimes it shows under here, but it always just shows under where it says in stock. So it says in stock right here, as you can see, and under it says ships from and sold by Amazon. So as I said earlier, ships from and sold by Amazon is going to mean that you will get charged sales tax. But if you really want to check, we're going to add it to our cart. We're going to proceed to checkout. And I mean, if you have virtual assistants or whatever, if you're doing this by yourself, this is what you're going to want to do every time. Um, I just made this email up for my um, and this prime account up for this video. I, I made up this address. I'm pretty sure it's the address to legal seafood in Boston. Um, so I'm going to add it to the cart or whatever, add payment method. But as you can see right here, the estimated sales tax is 1.75. And if I, if you really want to punch the number 1.75 divided by 27.99, that's going to be 6.25% because it's going to Massachusetts. If you want to change the address, you can go in and put other addresses up in here by clicking change. And then you can add an address add new address. I'm not going to do that right now. And then you can see that you are going to get charged different sales tax based off the different state that you're choosing to send it to. So that is the first example of shipped and sold by Amazon. So for that item, you're going to want to incorporate a sales tax into your price on eBay so that you don't go negative and lose money on your item. But the main thing about this that I want to point out is that Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon ships by XYZ company and fulfilled by Amazon does not get charged sales tax for the majority of the time. So a majority of the items that people will start listing when they start, they'll just start listing everything as if it has a constant sales tax to it. Maybe they'll add an extra 10% just to cover all of the sales taxes um, throughout the United States because I think Louisiana is the highest at like nine point something, 9.9 .9 something right now. <clears throat> so basically they'll add 10% sales tax to every item they have. So it's okay to add 10% to this item. And if you shipped it to Massachusetts, you will be making an extra 4% because it's only a 6.25% sales tax. But the main thing that you want to realize is that if you are doing a fulfilled by Amazon item, then you're not going to get charged sales tax on any, almost any of the states. So why would, if, if you are charged, if you're adding an extra 10% to your item on eBay, then you are in fact overpricing your item by 10%. So I just want to prove to you guys that that's the thing. So if I delete this item from here, um, I'll just type in something else. Like I already typed this in earlier, but I mean, plastic bags, who knows? Um, so I just clicked on this item, I think, or let's just do this item. I don't even know. Um, but if you see right here, it says in stock and sold by, like I said, XYZ company, ASF, Tashi, and fulfilled by Amazon. So I can add this to cart, proceed to checkout, use this address and this one is charging sales tax. So like I said, it's not all the time does it not charge sales tax. So I mean, it, the best way to go about it is to check in the cart and add it, add it to the cart. So we'll return to cart. We'll delete this item. We'll go back to plastic bags. We'll try another one. We're going to try another one here. So we'll try this one. This one says sold by Royal 7 and fulfilled by Amazon. Add to cart. 
proceed to check out use this address and for this item you can tell it does not get charged sales tax so like I said you're gonna want to add the item to your cart you're gonna want to check to see if it does get charged sales tax but for their general rule of thumb ship sent from and sold by Amazon does get charged sales tax on every item and fulfilled by Amazon or sold by XYZ and fulfilled by Amazon doesn't get charged sales tax I mean some of them do that's why I suggest you adding them to your cart or have your virtual assistant add to your cart whoever you have sourcing your items for you to check because if you add an extra 10% for sales tax to this item then you are in fact pricing yourself out because the people that do know this trick are going to be pricing their item 10% lower because they know they're not going to get charged sales tax so I use web seller guru for my repricing tool and just to show you guys that if you have like the the payment profile on web seller guru you can in fact add store tax so 10% if that and this isn't just making an overall profile 10% for an item that is shipped and sold by Amazon, and I always do 0% for items that are fulfilled from, or fulfilled by Amazon, sold by XYZ company. So I think that is the number one biggest problem that beginner people drop shipping from Amazon, and most people start drop shipping from Amazon because it's the easier thing to do. I drop ship from Amazon. I primarily drop ship from Amazon, in all honesty. And I mean, a lot of people start doing that, and a lot of people will start just adding the arbitrary, like, I think it's like 23% break even price or whatever, which includes the 10% sales tax. But on items that aren't getting charged sales tax, you don't need to add that 10% in. And you are in fact pricing yourself out. That's why a lot of the beginners go, oh, like I can't, I can't uh, list my items competitively enough. I have 300 items up. I only sell two or three a day. It's because all of your items are grossly overpriced. And the majority of the items on Amazon, you'll realize are, ships from XYZ and fulfilled by Amazon. The, there, I, I'd say about 80% of my items are that. So, I mean, that being said, this is, the, this is the biggest mistake that I've realized from a lot of my students and I wanted to get it out there on the internet because I haven't seen a video like this being explained anywhere else. Um, so if you really like what, I'm, what I provided with you guys, some free information, um, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be putting out some more videos like this. I have a few more things, big problems like this that I wanna, uh, go across and go over. Um, I will in the link post my free Facebook group that I'm starting. I'm starting a free Facebook mastermind group. There's a lot of them out there. I want to start my own and um, hopefully we'll have a very unique one where, I mean, there's just a lot of free value and it's a great place to just exchange information. Um, from there, stay tuned in my next couple of videos. I'm probably going to release um, a free just breakdown mini course type series type ebook type thing. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet but on just how to, just the basics of drop shipping on eBay in general, it'll probably just, probably just go over Amazon drop shipping, Amazon to eBay, but who knows? I, I haven't really put that together yet, but I think that'll come out in the next week or so. Um, it'll be free, it'll provide value to you guys, and hopefully we'll get a lot of you guys started on the right track. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, let me know in the comments any questions that you have or anything about this video. If you liked it, Please let me know, and I'll see you guys later, and have a good day.